The LA school system knows its minority students will need to be, in effect, bilingual. PS100 in Watts is one of 60 schools using an experimental program called Academic English Mastery. I need all groups to pay attention. Cloyd, I need your focus now. And Gerardo. Daniel Russell uses a game of Jeopardy to teach his grade five class how to translate their home language into mainstream American. Okay, here we go. My grandpa cooked dinner every night. Her person is singular. Cooks. My grandpa cooks dinner every Cook. night. Which linguistic feature is not in mainstream American English? Third person singular. Yes. yes. And Marisol, how do you code switch this into mainstream American English? My grandpa cooks dinner every night. You just got 500 more points. Yeah. He's funny. He is funny. Okay, Ariel Barone, what's the answer? He is funny. He is funny? Excellent translation. Here we go. We don't have nothing to do. Okay, quiet, please. We don't have nothing to do. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not... I'll wait. That's not an accurate translation in mainstream American English. So you're at minus 400. So let me roll. Let's see which team will have an opportunity to get it. I might roll you guys again. One. I think perhaps the biggest misunderstanding is the idea that we are somehow teaching African American language, teaching Ebonics, if you will. We don't need to teach you, African American teach language. They, come they it. already know it. Yeah, yeah. Our task is to help move them towards mastery of the language of school in its oral and written form, but to do that in a way where they are not devalued or where they feel uh, denigrated in any way by virtue of their cultural and linguistic differences. Because when you begin to devalue youngsters and make them feel that who they are doesn't count, then we turn them off from education. Last night, we baked cookies. Are you ready? Okay, number one, what language is it in? It is an African American language. Number two, what linguistic feature is an AAL? Past tense marker ED. Past tense marker ED, that's two. And how do you code switch it into mainstream American English? Last night we baked cookies. Baked. You got 500 more points. Yes! Is it too easy or I just taught you well this year? <laughs> Students in the program show significant gains in written English. Those behind it believe that unless more teachers treat home language as sympathetically, they'll condemn more generations to school failure. Language remains a formidable frontier in the legacy of slavery.